Genesis chapter 1 verse number 1 In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth In the beginning God God does not exist in time Because if you are the beginning it means you precede the beginning you cannot be in the beginning to create the beginning. You must be out of the beginning to create the beginning. So before the beginning, God. Then in the beginning, God created. Before the beginning began, God. Then in the beginning, God created. Alright, so God predated time. And God pre-existed before time. Now listen carefully. Because he is God and he predated time, he functions with foreknowledge. God doesn't know things because he wants to know them. He knows things because he is out of time. When you're out of time, you don't learn things. Out of time, you know things. It's only in time that you learn. And because God is out of time and from out of time regulates time so God out of time knows the end from the beginning because if you were to be out of time to create time you can predict and you can foretell and you can see the end from the beginning meaning that when God created time he created time from the finished product it's like movie actors when they want to write a script they first of all create the end the climax of the script then they come back to build the story that arrives at the climax that is why God can be taken by surprise that's why God never reacts that's why God only pro acts because before time came God saw the climax and then walk through the process of what brought about the climax so whatever happens today doesn't take god by surprise why because god functions in foreknowledge foreknowledge means he knows everything now please pay attention to the things i'm sharing because god began before the beginning the wisest person to ask why things happen the way they happen on the earth will be god himself so god is not mysterious God is not mysterious. A mysterious personality will be somebody that we don't know. God is not mysterious. God has unveiled himself and has given us a document of 66 books that carries within it the revelation of God. Now, please pay attention. Man was created by God in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. God created man after his image and God gave man dominion over the work of his hands. God created angels. Now, we do not know readily when angels were created. You will have to study the entire Bible to arrive at when angels were created. Because Genesis never tells us when angels were created. Because when you know how something is created, then you can tell how it functions if you don't know how it is created you cannot explain its functionality and it is only when you know why something was created that you can be able to know the limits of that thing the capacity capability and ability of that product so when you blame the devil sometimes you are lying because so many things the devil is blamed for the devil is ignorant of because in our religious minds the devil has been overblown he has been blown beyond proportion so everything must be the devil if something works for you oh the grace of god god is good if something doesn't work for you the devil is a liar god punish the devil so it's either god or the devil or some other person if you know man then you know what man cannot do and you know what man can do that's why in this investigation in this interrogation of scripture we're going to be unveiling god unveiling man unveiling angels and as a minor satan and we shall look at animals the animal world where do animals go when they die and what was the purpose for which god created animals because animals were not created for man to eat the 
eating of animals begun after the fall of man actually thousands of years after the fall after the flood of noah all right now please pay attention if you know angels then you know what angels cannot do and what angels can do so when were angels created now in genesis we do not have information to that so we're going to do some exhaustive study now john chapter one verse number one in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god that word in the beginning was the word in the original is in the deathless past in the deathless past was the world before the beginning began in the eons of time or in the dark ages was the world and the world was with God and the world was God this is the pre-existing personality of God God in his pre-existing form in the beginning or in the deathless past or in the eternity of the eternities was the word or the revelation the word there is the word revelation all right deathless past now we've established that god does not have a beginning god began before time began now if you observe he talks about two beginnings in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god all right read verse 2 for me the same was in the beginning with God. The same, so two beginnings. The first beginning in verse 1, the second beginning in verse 2. So in verse 2 is Genesis. Verse 1 is the pre-existing one. Verse 2 is Genesis when the beginning began. Read verse 3 for me, verse 3 of Genesis 1. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. All things were made by him, including angels. Alright? So this is Genesis. All things, including angels, were made by him. So that lets us know that everything that God made, he made it in the beginning. Which is Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. Genesis 1 and 2 is the foundation of all of creation. After that, you won't see God create anything. The only thing God created after Genesis 1 and 2 will be the new creation, the born again man. Outside of that, nothing more. Now, so, beginning. Genesis 1 and 2. Let's read Colossians. We're trying to track when angels were created. Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 and 16. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? 16. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. They were created by him and for him, whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities, which is angels. They were created by him and for him in the beginning. All things created. So we have an idea that Genesis account includes the creation of angels. Now we know that Satan is an angel. And we saw in Genesis chapter 3 the modus operandi of that angel called satan look at hebrews chapter one and we're going to read a few verses in hebrews chapter one which tells us why god created angels and when god created them i can safely tell you without even going further i can safely tell you that angels were created on the sixth day in the morning and man was created on the sixth day in the evening and after creation, he woke up on the seventh day to function from a place of rest. Okay, so angels were created on the sixth day in the morning. And man was created on the sixth day in the evening. And after creation, he woke up and it was the seventh day, the day of rest. To be able to substantiate what I've just told you, let's look at Hebrews chapter 1 where 
angels were being distinguished from Jesus and then he gives us some information to the operation of angels Hebrews chapter 1 verse number 6 please pay attention and again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world he saith and let all the angels of God worship him let all angels worship the word worship is the same word for serve let all the angels serve him read verse 7 for me and of the angels he saith who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire observe he made his angels ministers the word ministers there is the word servants okay so angels were created servants they were created servants we are not to worship angels we are not to pray to angels we are not even to sing and be calling angel names these are servants the intent for their creation was to serve he makes his angels ministers or servants now give me verse 13 of hebrews chapter 1 but to which of the angels said he at any time sit on my right hand until i make thine enemies thy food to which of the angels meaning he didn't give angels authority right hand means authority which of the angels has he ever said to sit on my right hand which of the angels to none of them because no angel has authority none of them now look at verse 14 carefully verse 14 of hebrews 1 are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation are they not all if your bible is mine i will underline all all means all cherubim seraphims archangels ordinary angels gabriel michael all are they not all no angel no angel is outside this all all of them are ministering spirits what do we mean by ministering spirits explained in verse 7 they are to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation inheritors of salvation angels are to serve man that's why i told you they were created on the sixth day in the morning before man was created in the evening nothing was created after man god created everything and put everything in place and when he brought man out it was in a perfect environment angels all servants lined up at the beck and call of man the planet perfectly in place moon stars sun water above the heavens water under the earth a mist coming out of the earth to water the ground for man to have agriculture and food the water above the heavens to condition the atmosphere and give man a comfortable environment for his body's health and then god said to man take charge including all the angels how many of you understand what i'm explaining here because when you read the genesis account that's exactly what it is and if god is creating something it has to be perfect no defect so angels were created as ministering spirits god created angels therefore with man in mind he created angels with man in mind to minister for not to minister to angels are not to minister to man so don't ever say father send your angels to massage me as i want to sleep no they are to minister for not to you for means they are to run errands they are to carry out man's wishes in service not to man to minister for man take note of the tenses to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation so angels were created to serve man